you believe in life after love, I can feel something inside me saying, I really don't think I'm strong enough. Quote from Cher. Okay, I am on an adventure today. Going for a walk. Oh, feeling pretty good. Got my butterfly on. And my breast implant illness, which I disowned a while ago. Um, yeah, I'm sort of feeling it already. I felt pretty good today. So I felt a little dislocated from life, from other people, from everything. I felt, um, I felt like uh, I was not the same as other people today. I never have felt the same as other people. But breast implant illness surely has dislocated me from society again by giving me disabilities and pain and tiredness and exhaustion, which I never had before. So I'm just trying to still be me and going through this. And I'm going to visit my cat that I buried, Jasmine. She was a Persian and she lived till she was uh, uh, 21. Pretty good. I really miss her and thinking about her last night and how you die and then you're alive and then you're dead. So literally, we have to make the most of what we got um, in life, even though my hair not my hair, but the uh, hair that I bought. Luckily, I still look pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to do my lips today. Because they need some restylane. I bought, which I do my own. Um, yeah, that's the way it goes. This is a really beautiful walk. Um, I go on. This is real pretty. There's big caves up there. I love the bush. So that's me for today and I'm um, just going to have a check of how I'm feeling physically. So um, I say mentally and emotionally I feel okay. Uh, physically I feel tired, my arm hurts holding this phone up, feel exhausted in every single muscle and part of my body, I don't know, I'll walk for two minutes and walk to the shop and to the car, which wasn't even that far, but I'm not going to focus on that, I'm going to focus on what I have got, I'm going to focus on how awesome I look right now and how it's summer. And it's beautiful and cool actually. It's summer and Christmas is in a week, less than a week. I'm 50. It is my birthday on the 24th. So anyone who wants to give me a birthday love can do so. And um, yeah. So if you've got breast implant illness or any other illness, uh, you can have a wig you'll feel good about your hair even though you've lost it and just keep going in life one day at a time oh and also improvement was the last since I've had this operation and had the silicon capsules taken out I have been sleeping almost through the whole night so I've only been waking up once or twice which is amazing because I remember six months ago or more or less I was waking up eight to ten times a night in panics, anxiety, terror, texting people at two in the morning. I was doing it for a couple of years. I was crazy. I still feel a bit crazy but yeah so that's me for now. Guys have hope. Don't give up and I'll be doing more filming in a minute up when I get to the waterfall. Okay bye.
Where's my other half of my heart? I would have... I would have ran up this rock a couple of years ago before I got sick from breast implant illness. So, fatigue is like... like you're holding about a trailer load of bricks on your back. That's how it feels. Everything hurts too. It's really sore and tired to where you can't barely do anything. It's like you can't barely move. Really hard to explain. It isn't good. The opposite is good. Breast implant illness is not something you want to get. If you're thinking of getting breast implants, or you've got them, you could end up with what I got. And I'm not talking about one or two women having it. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of women affected by this illness. This is a wig. I have to wear a wig. I never wore a wig. Only every now and then to um, my YouTube videos, but unreal, eh? I actually wear a wig all the time now. And my hair's not growing back. Don't know if it ever will. But I am going to get this hair loss tablet, which is called uh, the Hairy Pill. I'm saving up for it. And hopefully my hair will grow back. A woman losing her hair is pretty cute and the fatigue and the tiredness and being in pain all the time it's a nightmare so once you get the silicon out of you and the capsules and the implants you should get better straight away unless you've had it leaking and ruptured and leaking inside you and left in you for years like I did which is pretty rare in my case is a rare one so doctors wouldn't listen to me I kept telling them over 20 doctors I told that I was getting sick from the silicon and they kept saying you wouldn't be sick from the silicon it doesn't make you sick it doesn't do that it doesn't do this it does if you do the research like I did you'll figure out that it does okay, bye